we are given this pulley block system and some friction exists between these two blocks and between these two blocks we need to find what should be the acceleration of the bigger block such that both 1 and 2 are at rest so what should be the minimum acceleration for that so one thing which we can think of is that this A needs to be moved towards right if we want them to be still with respect to A you see the 2 has a tendency to fall down and to avoid that we need some tension in the string so that will happen if we have some pseudo force on 1 towards left that means the real acceleration of the bigger mass should be towards right so we need to move the whole system towards right with let's say some acceleration A and minimum value of that we need to find out so let the acceleration of bodies be A towards right now when like we discussed the blocks have the ten tendency to fall down which means the friction direction of friction on the block should be upwards so on this block friction will be upwards and on the first block friction will be towards left again why because the blocks have the tendency to fall down so and this block has a tendency to move towards right so the friction will be in opposite directions and because we need to find the minimum acceleration to just keep them in their positions that means the friction is at its maximum value because on the any acceleration less than what we will we are going to calculate the blocks are anyway sliding and if they are sliding the friction is anyway maximum so if they just stop sliding then also friction is maximum so we are going to draw the free body diagram connecting them both the threads like this okay first let's see the the blocks in the reference frame of the bigger bar so whenever there is uh, some sliding between two surfaces it's better to consider the problem in the relative frame of the blocks so with respect to the block A which is moving with the acceleration A towards right will have the pseudo force on towards left on both the blocks they have the same mass so pseudo force will be MA and MA on each of the blocks now the frictional force is maximum so on this block frictional force is going to be K times N and N is equal to MA so the frictional force is KMA and on first block also frictional force is maximum so that is KMG so the forces on one are KMG and MA so with respect to the bigger block and on two forces are KMA upwards and MG downwards so now we can equate the system to include both one and two within the system so we don't need to bother about tension and the direction of the forces will just straighten them like this so MG towards right MA towards left and both the frictional forces KMG and KMA towards left so the system must be at rest which means MG is equal to MA plus KMG plus KMA which gives the value of acceleration so let's quickly read this also once already we have discussed but let's just read so blocks 1 and 2 have tendency to slip towards right and down respectively therefore frictional forces on them will be towards left and up so with respect to A we have written all the forces and then the acceleration must be 0 so we equated the forces and get, got our answer